What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Garky and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to click on this video. Today guys, I have a update for Battle Royale today. It's version 3.4, which if you guys remember my last patch notes was actually version 3.4. But this is not necessarily a patch notes. This is how they start it. Let me, let me explain this to you. Fortnite fans, starting this week we're doing things a little differently. Every other week we will drop a new content without the need for an update. This will be called content updates, or these will be called content, whatever. This new cadence allows us to iron out more complex bugs while continuing to provide fun content every single week. Now guys, this is pretty sweet. I don't know how I feel about this. I hope, hopefully this works out pretty well. Hopefully they're able to, you know, get all those bugs out plus give us new things without having a huge update. That's kind of, that's kind of sweet, you know? Um, before I get right into these patch notes, guys, I actually want to inform you guys that I have a Discord chat for the Garky Goers. If you guys want to join, I will put the uh, link up on screen, or I'll actually put it in the description, more than likely. Um, but other than that, let's get right into these. Weapon and item patch notes, they added a vending machine. These vending machines are found in various locations around the map. Each vending machine will, select, will randomly select a, a rarity. All items sold will match that rarity. Items found in a common slash white version will cost 100 materials. Uncommon, uncommon items will cost 200 materials. Rare items will cost 300 materials. Epic items will cost 400 materials. And legendary items will cost 500 materials. So in other words, you can go up to one of these vending machines and get a gold scar for 500 wood. 500 metal, 500 brick, whatever it is. Each vending machine will sell three items, one for each material type. Wood stone and metal it will cycle through each three items on a short timer to switch items faster hit the vending machine with your pickaxe and there's also no purchase limit on these items available and now they go on to talk about uh many items many no not many items many weapons now have first shot accuracy i was playing a game or i did play a game right before i was making this commentary here and it's really cool it's almost just like the shooting test except the uh the reticle doesn't turn red it just completely closes in on itself but here we go. These weapons are the, the the weapons that include the first shot accuracy are the suppressed submachine gun, tactical submachine gun, the pistol, the suppressed pistol, the revolver, the hand cannon, assault rifle, and burst assault rifle. When aiming, standing still, and the weapon has not fired recently, the first shot will be 100% accurate. When this is active, the aim reticle will be completely closed in to indicate the state. Damage fall off has now been adjusted for weapons with first shot accuracy. So now they, so now that we got more damage fall off because of the first shot accuracy. Suppressed submachine gun and tactical submachine gun fall off begins at 24 meters. Damage reduced to 80% at 34 meters. Damage reduced to 65% at 50 meters. Pistol and suppressed pistol fall off begins at 28 meters. Damage reduced to 85% at 47.5 meters. Damage reduced to 75% at 70 meters. Damage reduced to 65% at 250 meters. It's insane that the silence pistol or the pistol can even shoot at 250 meters, but hey, that's still pretty awesome. Revolver and hand cannon, the fall off begins at 35 meters. The damage reduced to 70% at 60 meters. Damage reduced to 40% at 85 meters. So now we got the assault rifle and the burst assault rifle. Fall off begins at 50 meters. Damage reduced to 80% at 75 meters. Damage reduced to 65% at 100 meters. And the headshot multiplier or headshot damage multiplier reduced from to two times for weapons with first shot accuracy. It was 2.5 times. Now we're getting into some gameplay updates here with this new, you know, content update. The limited time mode high explosives version 2. This is going to be sweet, guys. High Explosives is easily, other than Sneaky Silencers, is one of my favorite limited time modes. I'm not going to lie. The general here, non-explosive weapons removed, friendly fire is off, One, 100, wait, 150 shave off of wait times for first four storms, so 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. That's how the storms will go. Supply drops, spawn plus 50% more consumables, spawn 100% more materials, have a 50% chance of dropping a legendary guided missile. Now this is of course all for high explosives version 2. Now they got some floor loot adjustments for this. Materials spawn 60, 90, 100 per pickup for wood, stone, and metal. 
Oh, so for for wood, it's going to be 60 materials. For stone, it's going to be 90. And for metal, it's going to be 120 per pickup. Materials drop rate is increased by 50%. Ammo drop rate increased by 50%. Impulse grenade added to floor loot. Trap drop lowered 50%. Okay, I feel like they should uh, up the trap rate and lower the ammo and material rate. Considering I've walked into a house before, checked the bottom floor, the top floor, and where the chests are, and still have not gotten gotten any weapon. I've gotten ammo and the healing items. So I think that the that the ammo increased drop rate and the material increased drop rate. I feel like that shouldn't be a thing, really, to be honest with you. But it's all for the high explosives, so I shouldn't look into it that that far. They go on to talk about some other loot adjustments for the, of course, for the uh, high explosives version 2. Number of rockets pound, found per drop increased. Floor is 4 to 6. A chest gives you 8. A supply drop gives you 12. A box gives you 16. And llamas can give you 20. Grenade, impulse grenade, and remote explosive drop rate plus 100%. Bandages drop rate minus 50%. Medkit and slurp drop rate plus 50%. Spike trap disabled. Launch pads and campfires spawn at 1 to 1 ratio. Oh, that's pretty cool. Rocket launcher drop rate 100%. It goes plus 100%. Guided missile drop rate is plus 100%. And then resources, resource gathering rates adjusted. Increased most wood resource values by 10%. Reduced various or reduced variances of resources from objects was plus to minus 30%, now it's plus and minus 15%. This meant that an object with a base 100 resource value could have been anywhere between 70 and 130 resources, now it will give 80 to 50, 115. This does not affect limited time modes. So the resources gathered with the percentage, that's all, that's throughout the entire game. It's not just the LTM. But guys, that was all the little uh, content update they had for us. You know, the vending machines, the new LTM, the uh, f uh, first shot accuracy. Guys, it's going to be sweet. And they also have the rock, paper, scissors emote out right now, which is also pretty cool. But I guess there's gonna, there's been some bugs with it, apparently. They also brought the raptor skin back out in, in uh, the item shop. But guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, become part of that Garky Gore family, and comment down below what you're most excited for or what, you're, what you'd like to see in the, in the coming future in these updates. You know what I'm saying? I think these content updates are a great idea. Um, but once again, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I do, however, have a Discord. You guys can come join and talk to me. I'm going to be as active as I possibly can. I'll put the link in the description and probably on screen. And on a little side note, guys, this coming week, uh, the week of... Oh, the week of the 9th, Monday. That I will be gone that entire week until Sunday, the 15th. So uh, there will not be any live streams, but I will have some Pokemon videos. I'll have some other Fortnite videos. I'll have some Clash videos that I have made that I that will be coming out for you guys. So I'm sorry that there won't be any streams. I will be on vacation, actually. My, my family and I are going to Colorado, and then we're also going to be going to California to uh, visit my sisters who are in the Navy and who, and one of them just lives in Colorado, but the other one's in the Navy. She goes to Cal California, you know? Otherwise, guys, thank you so much. My name is Garky. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.